KOR to Sports here with Jonathan Navarro fighting February 3rd at Belasco Theater. Uh, we were just talking about it, man, but you're pretty much born and raised at Belasco Theater. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. mostly all my fights have been there, um, just except two of them. One was in Fantasy Springs, the last recent one, and then the other one was at the Stub Up. Um, so obviously it's, it's a comfortable place, you know what the arena's like. Uh, tell us about that. I mean, I feel like it's one of the better arenas. I love this show. It's real intimate. You know, the, the, the people are right on, on the balcony, kind of on top of you, all around you. Tell us about the arena. Uh, I love the arena there, you know, because uh, all the, just all the people around there, you know, it's a really good vibe they give you. Um, it's always family there because, uh, you know, they're all from East LA or LA, just that part. You know, it's real close up, so I love it because, you know, it gives me that thrill too. Yeah. And the King Taco is really close oh, too, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, the King Taco <laughs> right after the fight. Yeah, man. <laughs> your name's uh, Thunder, your nickname's yeah. Thunder. Yeah. Uh, t tell us, where did that come from, man? How'd you get that nickname? Uh, well, you know, hard hitting, and uh, my favorite fighter is, you know, Arturo Gatti and oh, his yeah. name. That's yeah. a good one, man, for sure. Yeah. Is that who you grew up kind of watching yeah, Arturo yeah. Gatti? Yeah. yeah. You're fighting out of Robert Garcia's camp, right? Correct. Man, you guys had a, a great weekend, man. Mikey, uh, devastating knockout of uh, Dijon. What did you think about that, man, when you saw that? So, well, I mean, you know, it, it was, um, I thought it was going to go at least a couple more rounds, but Mike, you know, just ended it real quick. It surprised me. Yeah. Yeah, but he's real strong. He's sparring with them. Yeah, he's strong. He's a strong fighter, very fast, quick on his feet. So, so, so you sparred with them kind of leading up to this? Uh, yeah, I was fighting with him for a little bit, but then after, you know, um, I switched off to uh, Hector, just uh, sparring with Hector Tanahara, and then um, I was sparring with the Russian and um, Eric De Leon. so yeah. So I, I've heard Robert say this, but I want to get it from a, a fighter who's been in the ring with Mikey, but Robert says all the time that Mikey's power is is just it's odd because it's it's almost like too much for his size yeah would you would you agree with that yes yes yeah um, you know mikey like you you wouldn't expect mikey to hit hard but when it, when uh, you spar with him you feel it you feel that hard punch and he doesn't even have to try he just hits you and boom you feel it yeah. No, that was a, a kind of a scary situation too towards the end because he was down there for a while. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. What, what, what do you think when you when you see something like that? Are you kind of like I mean, obviously you're celebrating because your boy won, but it's also kind of like oh crap, like what's what's going on? You know? Oh yeah, I mean you do worry, you know, you you worry if he's okay or not, but I mean, it, this is a, you know this is boxing. That's true. This is the sport we happen. love, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, man. You're fighting. Are you uh, on the the Ring TV telecast yes. part of it, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, tell us what it's like knowing that kind of your fans can be in the house, you know, but they still can see you on online. You're just kind of get, getting that, that exposure at, at such a young age because, I mean, you, you know, you're barely, what, it's seven, seven and oh, I believe? Yeah, yeah. So t tell us what that's like kind of getting this exposure so much at this point. Uh, I mean, it feels really nice, you know, and um, wonderful knowing that, you know, people are able to see me. And, you know, from, from when I first started, you know, I never thought I would make it this far because, well, well, same with Golden Boy and uh, with Robert Garcia. So, uh, you know, to me, it's a real honor to, you know, be exposed to this and having, you know, the people I have now. You, you, we just talked about it. You're seven and zero with five knockouts. Tell me, man, what's it like? I, I've been asking some of the younger cats, like, what it's like when you catch someone with that shot and you're just like, yeah, like he's, it's done, it's over. Uh, it feels great. <laughs> it feels real great knowing that, you know, you got the your opponent and he's down. And he's not gonna get up no more because, you know. The fight's over, so you get to eat, you get to enjoy it now. Right, so, yeah. uh, well, Justin, thank you so much for the time, man. I really appreciate it. Can't wait to watch you fight, man. Thank you.